Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hobo. This time we're gonna model a kit bash part for like tank. You can use it differently, like also for a concept car or a bus or some other military vehicles. It's uh, very, very easy to model it. You can see I start very low with like 20 sided cylinder. There we go. Now add an edge and extrude the half of the cylinder out there, scale it down, removing some unnecessary edges at the moment. So you can uh, deal with less topology there. Scaling it up, mirroring or symmetrizing. Moving down, sliding some edges, there we are. What's important for 3D modeling, you can see I have added some edge loops uh, where I think there will be later some connections. Uh, you need to have the topology before the beginning in your mind how it gonna looks so it's also easier to model because uh, you have a plan how it gonna looks like the topology you can see i'm moving a little bit out for coming on the edge on the cylinder uh, there down adding some more holding loops now I can bool in. And now I can clean up the geo. Merging vertices by distance, at last, at first, and come up with topology solutions. But later on, uh, when I apply the bevel, uh, you can see me clearly changing up the topology and uh, looking for new solutions. And now we can redirect some edges. Also in three, two, one. Adding more edge loops and connecting them um, up with a uh, cylinder down there. And with sub the on, you can change how it looks on this stage. And uh, you can clearly see where you need more edge loops and uh, where you need some more bevel for tightening up the corners. If you want a softer look, like a very soft shade uh, on the sharp corners, you can leave it like this without uh, a more bevel edges. But uh, in this case, I'm gonna apply sharpen for adding a bevel weight of one. And now I'm trying a little bit out, finding out some topology solutions there. Symmetrizing it on the X axis. Connecting the words there are not connected there. Now sometimes the multi-cut tool uh, or the knife tool uh, comes handy in uh, these types of situations. Reducing the bevel. 
and uh, that's not a problem and we have uh, angles or triangles later on we will clean up the topology adding some more bevel weight for sharpening up the corners there sliding some edges Later on, we're going to redirect those edges. At the moment, we let them as a triangle. Sliding some edges for cleaning up the space between them. And now you can see me, I select all the faces after this and uh, give a little bit of a flatten because sometimes uh, when you add or slide some edges, uh, it can be uh, destructing or destroying the shape and not uh, flat as before so the flatten tool comes very handy in these types of situations circularized tool also I use very often and now we have a different style of a topology and the edge flow I'm cleaning it up a little bit more now there we are merging vertices there we have an angle but later on we will clean it a little bit more now I flatten those faces Symmetrizing it. Bridge faces. Also very handy tool in the loop tools. And now you can see me uh, applying the bevel modifier. And now we can go and clean all the unnecessary edges that we don't need there sliding some edges redirecting some edges or cleaning up uh, the topology I also reduce some edges with merging it center and there we need uh, some another style of topology there sliding it out a little bit these edges because they are too close to each other shading becomes a little bit off there or uh, too sharp Now we come with the new solution there. This is an off for uh, this type of a model. But if you want to render out some detail of this model, you need a higher subdivision cylinder for uh, avoiding shading issues. And now we can check with the mat cap. There we are, guys. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.